now it's working. There we go. Okay, uh, so this is a continuation of day number five, um, going from conditional and uh, absolute convergence to today. Now we're talking about power series, and we've shown that the sum from zero to infinity of x to the n power is equivalent to the rational function one over one minus x. So um, in order to get this, this function f of x right here to look like uh, one over one minus something, what do we need to take out? What do we need to take out of that first term in the denominator? A three, right? A three? If I took out a three, if I took out a three, what would I have here in the parentheses? Three times what gives me x? Three times x over three, right? So I've got this. Three times x over three. Now I want you to see how that equates to uh, said thing over here. Now I do have a constant, right? I have a constant, which in this case would be a big one, but now I have a one-third. What would my x now be? My x would be x over three. So we can now write our power series based on that. Yeah, go ahead, Wyatt. This happens from time to time, as you know. Um, I would have to put a minus here inside in order to suffice that this was plus before, right? So I have 1 over 1 minus a negative x over 3. Okay, so let's put that into power series form. So I would have the series from n equals 0 to infinity. I'm going to keep my constant out in front, 1 third, for a moment. How would I write my, um, my common ratio now? It's no longer x. What is it? Negative x over 3 to the n power. So I can actually uh, kind of clean this up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. In the numerator, I will have negative x to the n, excuse me, let's take a negative 1 out of that. So I have an alternating series. I will also have x to the n. And I'll have that over 3 to what power? To n, right? And then what do I do with a 1? What do I do with... 3 to the 1 and 3 to the n. I take the 1 and the n and I add them, right? I add them, and that's my new power series for that rational function. So what did that do for me? Well, I can now approximate a polynomial that could represent that rational function out to however many terms I want. The further out I go, the more accurate that polynomial will represent that rational function. However, there is kind of a, uh, what we'll call a, uh, an interval in which it's the most accurate. It's called the interval of convergence. And we're going to talk about that, I think, tomorrow a little bit more. Um, what was the interval of convergence up here? I, I kind of vaguely mentioned it. But in a rational, excuse me, in a, in a geometric series, what is the requirement on R? The absolute value of it is less than 1. Okay, and we're going to talk later about finding the R value, which do we know the R value here? Well, we kind of do. We're going to get there later. But we're going to find out what the interval of convergence would be for that and the radius of convergence in the process. This would be the radius of convergence of 1 on a... Um, on a geometric series of that form. Um, and, and we'll get to this a little bit more later. But I, what I'd like you to do now is to take example three down here with a neighbor and see if you can come up with the um, uh, power series representation of that rational. So take a couple minutes with a neighbor, see if you can come up with it. We'll check it in like three or four minutes. And then I think we'll jump into mall of America stuff. Okay. Take a stab at number three. Okay, hold on, let me record this. That'd be x to the n plus 2 over 8 to what power? Yeah, 8 to the n plus 1. Now that looks ugly, okay, you guys? It does. I know it does. But if I expanded that, it would look like a pretty nice polynomial. 
like relatively speaking, it'd be it'd be easier to integrate and differentiate than the alternative. Okay. Now, what would I have done here uh, four weeks ago? Turn the knob, right? Turn the knob, which is ugly. Some of you don't like turn the knob. Some of you like turn the knob. You're sick individuals. Liz is a sick individual. She likes turning the knob. She's good at that. It's okay. 